Hello trainers and welcome to another episode of You Versus. That's right, I'm actually really sorry for the delay. It's been a little while, been a couple weeks, but I'm back in action, hopefully for good this time. Uh, but this time I have another GBA match for you. Again, we're still in round one because, uh, well, because I stopped for a little bit. But hopefully I can get the rest of the round one matches done soon and then we'll move on to round two. And we're actually in week five, I believe now, into the GBA. So this is round four. We're... I'm pretty much got most of my battles done. Uh, but today I have a match between Deezus and uh, Julio Ramos 7, aka the uh, Deezus is the owner of the Detroit Snorlax. And sorry, not the Detroit Snorlax, my apologies, the New York Snorlax. And we have Julio, who is the owner of the Detroit Pyroars. So before we get started, again, I just want to say I'm sorry for being late and take a look at their teams. We have Deezus, who's got the Piloswine, the Latios, the, Ma the Bayleaf, the uh, Zapdos, the Kingdra, and the Conkelder, as uh, Julio has the Verizion, the Pangoro, the Mesprit, the Regirock, the Pyroar, nice mascot, and on both sides, actually. No, sorry, you're not the Bayleaves. And then uh, Steelix, so this is very nice. Let's like, actually get jumped right, jump right into this one. It's been a little while since I've commentated over a battle, but hopefully we got a good one coming. Julio's Ra Julio Ramos 7 is uh, issuing a challenge and starting out with a shiny Verizion. Ooh, very nice. Nice and shiny. And we have Pillow Pig leading, Pillow Pig, the pile of swine, leading off on to the New York uh, Snorlax side. So Verizion leads off with, starts off with a, uh, a nice swords dance. And pile of swine is going for the stealth rocks. Getting up the hazards is very vital in this. It, Especially according to Team Preview, it didn't look like he had any spinners. Uh, the Sacred Sword, or Secret Sword, I can't remember which one it is. I believe it's Sacred Sword, goes right in and deals a ton of damage, but not able to knock out the poor Pillow Swine as it is able to roar out and get some rocks damage on everything now. Everything will have, been take, have taken spikes, uh, not spikes, stealth rocks damage at least once. Pyro does come in, is able to probably clean up this one as it's a shiny pyro, didn't even realize. Shiny male, nice. And he switches out into Kingdra, the shiny Kingdra. Very nice. And totally eats up this flamethrower. Look at this. Nothing. Ah, oh, Dragon water. Like, that, that's such good resistance typing for fire. As Pyroar does pull back, not wanting to take a Scald. As the Verizion does come back out, probably trying to see if he can get a Giga Drain off. But it's still not going to do that great of damage just because it is a Dragon type as well. As Kingdra does pull off the Substitute. Ooh. That's very different. That's very... Actually, that's not a good thing for... Uh, this Verizian at all for the uh, for the Detroit Pyroars at all. As the substitute is broken for, from a Leaf Blade, so that's very good. As a Dragon Dance has now been set up. Oh boy. Is this, uh, this can't be a regular set that I'm thinking of. I do like the, the, the gimmick sets a little bit with Kingdra. But Kingdra does go straight for the Outrage right here and is going to do a ton of damage and going to be able to knock out the Verizian in one hit after Stealth Rocks. Woo! That is a doozy right there, ladies and gentlemen. And we have the Regirock coming in, which isn't going to be doing super well, but it'll do better against uh, with this Outrage because you are locked into Outrage with from, with uh, when you use it for at least two turns, possibly possibly uh, three. And as he does have the Lumberry, we see as he broke after two turns. I've been getting lucky and getting those three turns lately, but... Nothing too important. We got the rock polish that comes off to raise off this Reggie Rock speed, trying to outspeed and get used to, uh, or be able to at least challenge this Kingdra. But unfortunately, Kingdra is faster due to the Dragon Dance and is able to get a clean waterfall off and take out the Reggie Rock. Ooh. So down goes the Reggie Rock. We got this Kingdra that's at plus one in both attack and speed on the side of the field as the Mesprit does come out, takes Rock's damage, breaking any potential Focus Sash that was on it. And the waterfall does come through to actually cleanly, I'm going to believe, knock out this Pokemon. And no, ooh, ooh, and the energy ball is off. He was prepared. He was prepared for these for this Kingdra right here. As Kingdra is now at 42 HP, as of a total 151, the waterfall is coming off again, which is going to be able to knock out the Mesprit. So, unfortunately for you, uh, D uh, Detroit Pyro is your... One of your Pokemon is now down against, that is three down. Panny, the Pangoro, comes out. Nice and shiny, all these shiny Pokemon. Where are people getting all these shinies? And the Mole Breaker does break off, losing any sort of Sniper or Swift Swim, which I don't believe is helping him in either situation. The Outrage does come off again and is able to one-hit KO the Pangoro. After Stealth Rocks, of course. But that's just because after Stealth Rocks was there. He probably would have one-hit KO him anyway. 
As Pyroar does come back out again, we do see that he is taking a ton of damage from that Stealth Rocks. That's doing a lot. The Outrage is going to be able to do enough to knock it out because Pyroar is not the uh, most bulky of Pokemon that are out there, unfortunately. So, so this Kingdra is pretty much cleaning up shop right now, and it seems like it's game. But there are still more Pokemon, and Thumper does come out. How he was able to pull off this nickname, I will not know. I'll have to try and re-nickname my, uh, my Diggersby because it doesn't want to be nicknamed Thumper. As he does pull out the Kingdra here and go into Zapdos, I'm assuming predicting an earthquake of some sorts. As the uh, Mega Evolution, I'm going to assume, is coming off. Yes, we're going to see Steelix Sight for the first time on Believe on this channel. And we have Mega Steelix. Look how beautiful it is. Shiny and the, mat the rocks just flowing. It's great. Thumper does go for the earthquake and it does not hit as the Heat Wave does come through. And it deals a ton of damage to this to this Steelix right here, this Mega Steelix, and unfortunately, he does get the burn, so even if he does go for Stone Edge's turn, it's not going to be doing enough. The Roar does come out, so I'm going to assume that, that Zapdos went for something really low priority, because the Roar did come off. Oh, never mind. I I forgot that he went for the Heat Wave that turn. As the Latias does come out, and Mega Evolve into the Mega Latias right there, to be able to probably go for a Psy Shock very safely, or even a Draco Meteor, but instead goes for the Hidden Power, I'm going to assume Ice. The Hidden Power Ice, or Hidden Power Fire, could have been either or, which is able to knock out this poor Burnt Steelix, and it does go down, and that is good game, you guys. Uh, thank you guys for enjoying this battle, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, I will be trying to upload more content daily. Um, so please stick around for that. I will have more of the GBA battles coming up. I'll probably have some more of the Alpha Sapphire playthrough coming through. Hopefully, maybe. I will see. Poke allergies are working, being worked on still. I'm waiting for some equipment, and, uh, then maybe that'll be underway there. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, please, again, if you liked it, this video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to leave a like, to subscribe, to comment, do whatever it is you gotta do, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!